So for today we're going for the old uh, pony symmetrical thing. People have been asking for this, so give it a spin. 73 grams, I can't remember now. No, 72. <laughs> Uh, it's basically a Viper Mini weight, right? Uh, wireless, right? Made this identical to the Viper Mini. I measured it. It's it's, it's a Viper Mini. <laughs> Let's see, like, got a big ass battery. Looking about point eight. So we've got two screws, none on the front skate, but two at the back. Got to take the center one off as well. Also get that. Already pre-drilled though. Interesting. I like it already. Interesting. So almost a 0.1 mil smaller on the sensor one. There's like some clips down the side, so good old splin giants. Those clips just in the front here. It's like it catches again, like a almost like a viper. Go. There's the ponage symmetrical two inside. A lot of companies are putting them on these. Like Logitech put the battery on this little plate, but you make an ultralight mouse. I don't get why. So let's take out the main side switches first. Put a normal screw. Okay, so we've got Hawanu black shell yellow dots as the sides. Get to the rotate by looks like. Has the DPI come out? Yes, the DPI will come out as well. So there's two little clips here. It's got to squeeze them together and it should just ping out. Nothing different, seen them before.
And then we're left with like the outer shell skeleton piece. Nothing else will come out. Well, maybe actually the side buttons will come out, I guess. That's different. They've got like a little, you can see any. See this little pin here? Can you see that? It stops the side button pushing all the way in too far. You can see it going on the, the back here. It stops on the front pushing in. It's different. I've seen that before. Not on this side. It's just in that front corner. Yeah. See the mail out pad? Dead on the ground, nice. Here's the skeleton, two sets of magnets, one, two, three, four, for the switches, I guess. The buttons and then the rear panel. It feels quite heavy. Mm, okay. little tray holder. So the saying here, got this little foam pad. The saying it's a 100 milliamp and <laughs> 5 DC. pretty thick but I don't know why. Five hundred eighty milliamp. Oh, I hate my lights for this. This do not this reflective stuff. You see that? Okay, so we've got two screw points um, here. One here. One here. One on the RGB for the scroll wheel. Pretty similar to what Model O do. Screw here on the front of the PCB. That looks like it at the minute. So let's take out these two on the PC. Right? Need to use the same screwdriver for all of this. We're going to take out this battery cover. This is we don't need this. Stick it straight to the PCB, man. Slightly clipped in the bottom here. I'll have to leave that in for a sec. Right, let's take the RGB out. Mm -hmm. PC, the RGB is on the same little design as a Model O, where you've got like little pins coming through. Just pull off nicely. That skills for catching it. 
0.2 of a gram. Yes, finally got one right. They have always have nice scroll wheels of ponage. I like the scroll wheels. I like the rubber and the, the shape of it. my lighting s fitting focus so the pcb was trying to take it out but you can see it kind of hinged and that's because these little clips here at the bottom see them? i can't get out this uh pcb tray the battery tray you're gonna have to huh. i think you have to cut it and this is what the PCB looks like then, I'll have to show you with this tray on. So you don't really get that off unless you cut it. KLH, nice to see. Everything else is using Hawano Black Shell Yellow Dot USB C, which is good. Okay, 0.7, not bad. Pretty thin, it's PCB. Not bad, not bad. And then we've got the base. Which looks pretty well optimized for weight already. We've done a pretty good job on this. Batches where the weight is. Not bad, 12 grams. 